A while back, I made a video asking the question, is racing a waste of time? And in that video, I argued that it wasn't and that it's basically just a hobby. And I stand by that. But today, what I wanted to talk about is something a little bit more personal. And I wanted to talk about the reason why I like racing so much, because if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you know that a lot of the videos that I do are on customizing your window manager or your desktop environment or something like that. And whether you like the word ricing or not, that's kind of what we've called it. And I spend a lot of time doing that and making videos about it. And those videos are usually pretty popular. So I know a lot of people enjoy this hobby just as much as I do. But I wanted to talk about why I like it. So there are several reasons, but probably the biggest reason is simply because I love change. Like I have probably what you'd consider a severe case of ADHD when it comes to wanting to change stuff all the time. And I can't stand to use the same look and feel of a desktop environment or a window manager for more than a few days. Usually I don't even last that long. So I constantly want to change something. Now, whether that is a need to always have something that is a little bit better or a need to have something new. I don't know what psychological reason why I have this feeling that I need to change my environment often, but I do have that. And that's one of the reasons why I have like 20 rices that I switch between almost constantly. You probably notice it in a video. Every video, basically, I have a different rice that I'm using. It's one of the reasons why I've been writing a script to change between those races because it makes it way easier, right? So that's probably the biggest reason why I like racing, simply because it gives me the opportunity to not have to use the same look and feel of my environment over and over again. I get to change to something new and it just kind of makes my experience on Linux or whatever distro I'm using feel better and fresh and all that stuff. But there's more to it than just that. So one of the things that I really enjoy is the actual process of putting a rice together. Whether it's finding the best icons or choosing the color scheme or choosing the position of the things on the bar, whatever it happens to be, it's something that I really enjoy doing. Each rice that I create is a personal endeavor for me because I look for the color scheme. Sometimes I create my own, sometimes I use a pre-made one, and then I put the colors together in a way that makes sense and is pleasing towards me, and then I choose the icons, and by the end of it, I have this thing that I put together. And while I wouldn't say it's the most original thing, like most of my rices are probably pretty derivative off from other people's rices, there's not a lot of original stuff to be had here, but I still feel like it's something that I created. And I think it's probably the feeling that like developers get when they've created their first program or they created a application that they really like and they've spent a lot of time on. I don't get that satisfaction from coding or whatever because I'm not a developer, but Ricing is my version of that. It's something that at the end of the process, I have a rewarding feeling, even though it's just putting together a poly bar and some colors and stuff. And the final reason why I truly love Ricing is that it gives me something of my own. And when I say that, I mean that every rice or setup that I create is something that I created. And it reminds me constantly that Linux is the most customizable operating system on the planet. And it's something that just gives me joy and makes me realize that this is something that I can do. You know what I mean? And it's something that I created. And it reminds me that when I was a Windows user back in the day, how constraining Windows and Mac OS are. They are set up in a way that this is the way you use them, and if you don't like that, then tough luck. Now, Windows has become a little bit more customizable with version 10 and 11. Now you can choose accent colors and stuff like that, but you didn't used to be able to do that. And it used to be just like light or dark, and that's pretty much all there was. You could change the wallpaper, maybe change the position of the start menu in the bar or whatever if you wanted to. And if you were comfortable with a third party hack or something, you could probably change it a little bit more. But out of the box, it was pretty constraining. Now that I'm on Linux, I don't have to put up with that anymore. And Ricing reminds me that I have the freedom to do whatever I want. So 
those are the things that I like the most about ricing. If you have comments on this subject, you can leave those in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can follow me on Master Hunter Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description just below the like button. If you would hit the like button, it'd really help me out. The channel just flourishes when you hit the like button. So hit the like button. It would be amazing. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should do so because I talk about ricing, Linux, all that kind of stuff. Seven days a week, basically. So subscribe. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash the Linux cast, just like all of these fine people. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all amazing. The channel would not be anywhere close to being where it is today without you guys and your support. So thank you so very, very much. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.